and welcome to episode number 72 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice, you will join me today for our inevitable defeat to Dy Dynamo Kia. Since we were last together, which was the Paris Saint-Germain game, we played against Shakhtar Donetsk and had a creditable 2-2 draw against them. We took the lead twice, Gaston, Kevin Rowland scoring and Valencia scoring as well, but they pegged us back in the last 10 minutes to secure a point in that one. But we bounced back with a very dominant 1-0 victory over Olympic D. Fafana scoring an early goal. We had like 25 shots in this one, 10 on target, but they could only score the one goal. And we set off for a nice, comfortable three points. Today is the Ukrainian Cup semi-final against Dynamo Kiev, which will be an incredibly tough game, as our record against them is absolutely horrendous. If we focus on the league for one moment, we are looking relatively comfortable. The league has now split in two. We are nine points behind Shakhtar and nine points ahead of Dynamo Kiev. So you'd wager we'll probably finish second, which is a marked improvement on last season where we finished third. The team for today's game is Sarnioski in goal, left back Valencia, right back Dembele, Kovachenko and Svatan are the two central defenders. From the left hand side, Fafana, from the right hand side, Chernik, McKenzie, Ekwin and Koba in the middle with Rollin up front on his own. Kiev have the Indian sign over us, they've beaten us in the league, the only team to have beaten us this season. We just cannot find a way of beating them. Bezedin up front for them always seems to score against us. As we have an early free kick, Dembele to take the inside to Ekrem. Now McCandy. Now Fafana. To Kogot. Kogot should have scored. Dragged his shot well wide. If we can get past Kiev today, we've got an amazing chance to win the cup and get some actual silverware into the club. For all our really good seasons we've had over the last few seasons, we have never won anything apart from promotion in our first season, which, technically speaking, is a trophy. Fafana on the ball, but he loses out. Tankinko down the line, Bezedin, our nemesis all these years, crosses it into the box, headed away by Dembele. Bezedin will win the ball again, but Sarniowski gathers comfortably, and we can start another attack. Kola now on the ball. McKenzie looks for Chernik, but can't get the ball, and they get another chance to break Gonzalez into Tarasenko. And Sepulov finds Gonzalez again. Shepelev. Takemura. The other player's through and he scores. Stojkovic is through and he finds the back of the net. I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing then. He went back. He went down far too easily there. Disappointing that. We just backed them off and they side through us and the keeper was down leagues before he should have gone down. Not the start we were wanting. Corner. Gonzalez to take. Headed. Saved by Sarniowski. He was in the right place at the right time at that point. Dembele to Chernik. Can we get an immediate response? Chernik beats his man, plays it inside to Kogot. Kogot gives the ball away though, Gonzalez. And Bezedin to Tarasenko. Put Bezedin and he should put, puts it wide. Ekrem with a free kick. Deep. Headed down and wide by Dembele. Oh, we're, it's going to be one of those days where we're just going to miss chances and chances. Ekrem, free kick. Scores! Get in. Ekrem, glorious free kick. He is the best free kick taker we've ever had in the club. And I've only just noticed that and put him onto free kicks. And that is why. Come on, Gonzalez to take. Plays it in. Headed back stick. And Sarniowski claims nicely. Apart from the goal, he's had a very decent game of football. Churning now on the ball. The Kogot looking for options. Rollin looks to be in. Rollin, oh my word! It's one all at half time. They took the lead within the 22nd minute. Stoy kickoff scoring where Sarniowski just should have done a lot, lot better. But Ekram, superb free kick, has got us back in the game. Rollin has not had a great first half. But I'm just keeping him out there for a few minutes just to see if he can pick it up in the second half. With nearly an hour gone, nothing much is happening. We can stay on standard, but we are going to bring on Alvarado for rolling up front. Lunin, goal kick. Good goal, good kick on in that lad. They get the flick on, but Kovacenko can deal with it. Back to our goalkeeper. I'm always nervous when those three are passing the ball around like that. Every now and then, they completely screw up and they get a giveaway goal. But we haven't in that instance for Farnham on the ball. 
He beats his man nicely. Oh, that's a tackle. Obviously, that's a tackle. Is that going to be a booking? That's going to be a very harsh red card. If it's a red card, fly me. Okay. I did not think that was a bad challenge, but they're down to 10 men now. So, what we'll. No, we'll leave it on counter. Quarter of an hour left. We're going to go to standard. And let's have a look at what changes we can make. It isn't really any changes I can make apart from being Koga off and being Stark off on. Fafana on the ball. Plays inside to McKenzie. Back to back stick, headed away. McKenzie now on the ball. Dembele. Now McKenzie. Finds Alvarado. Alvarado. Chernick. Chernick scores! Mikhail Chernick, the local boy, has scored. Seven to go. We are 1 0 up away at Dynamo Kiev in the semi final of the cup. Dembele found McKenzie, found Alvarado, who found Chernick, and Chernick buries the ball into the back of the net. We we're immediately going to go to counter attack. And they have nine men on the pitch. They have nine men on the pitch. They've had a player sent off and they've had a guy go off injured. So if we can't win it from here, we need a very stern talking to at the end of the game. Svatok on the ball. Now Chernik, the goal scorer, the potential hero, McKenzie. Fafana gets the ball in. He does it, but the Lunin catches it nicely and they can break. They have nine, we have 11. This should not be difficult for us to defend this out. But this is Kiev. They always find a way. It is what they do. Full through. Stoikovic shoots, but that's easy for Sarniowski. With a barely a minute before we get into injury time, I'm going to make a change in that midfield. McKenzie is going to come off, and Tansiowski is going to come on. Again, that fresh pair of legs. We're into five minutes of time added on. 92nd minute. They have a throw in. Shepelev to Tansiowski. Ball over the top. Kovachenko deals with it by just launching it away, but that's not a great clearance. Grevnev inside to Gonzalez. Chipev. And that is over the bar. Living dangerously. The Helios Wade. We're into the 95th minute. Dembele for throw. Ekrem now. Starkov. That is the full time whistle. We have beaten Dynamo Kiev. 2 1 away from home. Goals from Ekrem and Chernik doing the business for us today. We will play in the final. And we won't be playing either Kiev or Shakhtar. So that should mean we have a really, really good chance of winning. That will be in a later episode. But hopefully you'll join me for that one. I've been the FM Novice. You've been the audience. We'll talk again soon. Good night. <laughs>